Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about a topic that has fascinating human beings for centuries, time travel. Is it possible to travel through a time? If so, how would we do it? What are the implications of time travel? In this video, we'll explore this question and try to understand whether time travel is possible. Before we can answer whether time travel is possible, we need to understand what time is. Time is a fundamental aspect of our universe. It's a measure of the duration between two events. We experience time in a linear fashion, moving forward from the past through the present and into the future. But is time really linear? Einstein's theory of relativity suggests that the time is relative and can be affected by the speed and gravity of objects. So, if time can be affected by the speed and gravity of objects, could it be possible to manipulate time? The concept of time travel involves the idea of moving backwards or forward in time. In popular culture, time travel is often portrayed as a device that can transport a person or object through a time. But is this really possible? Let's start with the idea of traveling to the past. The concept of going back in time and changing the course of history has been a popular theme in science fiction. But is it possible? According to the law of physics, time travel to the past is not possible. The reason for this is the law of causality, which states that every event has a cause and effect relationship. Therefore, if you were to go to back in time and change something, it would create a paradox. For example, if you were to go to back in time and prevent your parents from meeting, you would not be born. This creates a paradox because if you were never born, you could not have gone back in time to prevent your parents from meeting. However, there is a theory that suggests time travel to the past could be possible through that use of a wormhole. A wormhole is a theoretical passage through space and time that could connect two distant points in the universe. It's been suggested that if we were to find a way to create and stabilize a wormhole, it could be act as a bridge between two different points in time. However, this is currently only a theory and has not been proven. While time travel to the past may not be possible, time travel to the future is theoretically possible. According to theory of relativity, time moves slowly in a strong gravitational field and at high speeds. This means that if you were to travel at near light speeds or near a black hole, time would slow down for you. This phenomenon is known as a time dilation. For example, if you were to travel at 90% the speed of the light for one year, you would be aged only 0.44 years. This means that when you return to Earth, everyone you know would have aged one year. But you would have only aged 0.44 years. This effectively means that you would have traveled into the future. One of the most well-known paradoxes related to time travel is the grandfather paradox. This paradox involves the idea of going back in the time and killing your own grandfather before he meets your grandmother. If you were to do this, you would create a paradox because you would never have been born to go back in time and kill your grandfather. This is another example of law of causality. So, is time travel possible? According to our current understanding of physics, time travel to the past is not possible due to the law of the causality. However, time travel to the future is theoretically possible through the phenomenon of time dilation. Why, there are still many unanswered questions about the possibility and implication of time travel. The concept continues to fascinate and inspire us. Perhaps one day, with the advancement in science and technology, we will find a way to unlock the secrets of time travel and explore the mysteries of our universe in a whole new way. Until then, we can continue to dream and speculate about the future may hold. Thank you for watching, and be sure to leave your thoughts and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more fascinating topics like this one. Bye, until the next video.